in the last days before Rosh Hashanah, right now before Shabbos, before Rosh Hashanah. The plat du jour, so to say, the main focus is on Teshuvah. Teshuvah translated as regretting, repenting, returning, different levels in Teshuvah, which deserves attention. But right now, I want to actually focus on the Teshuvah, whatever it is. Is it an obligation or is it an option? Is it a commandment or is it a deep personal desire who regrets, who repents and who returns to Asha? Like everything in Judaism, different opinions. And it's all based on the verse of the Pasha of this week. Parshas Nitzavim, which is the Parsha which is always read before Rosh Hashanah, very apropos that this is where the subject should be referred to. So this is referred in the Torah. When the Torah says, And it will be when all these things will come upon you. And there it continues, the bracha, the blessing that I will give you, or God forbid, the opposite of the blessings. And the reason for the opposite of blessings, because our behavior was not up to par. And God has banished us. Says the Pesach then, what's going to be? V'shavto ad Hashem alekecha. You will return to God. V'shomato b'koyloi. K'choyla asher anoichi mitzavcha hayoyim. And you will listen to God's commandments. You, your children, with your full heart and your entire soul. So the Pasuk says of here, you will return to God. So there are those who interpret this, such as the Sefer HaMitzvah's cotton, that this is a command. God says, you shall return to God. You shall do Teshuvah. The other, actually the word Veshavto is Tashuv, returning to Shuvah. So it says there is an actual commandment to do to Shuvah. Others, though, interpret it differently. That God is stating a fact, foretelling the future that a time will come when you will do to Shuvah. You'll be banished. You'll be fatzoret, as we say in Yiddish. V'shavta Hashem Elokecha. You will return to, to God. Now what is this different? What is it based on? Why is the, what is the concept of this debate? So this reflects actually two aspects of the Shuva, as it's explained particularly in the teachings of Chassidus. Chassidus tells us that within the soul there are 613 spiritual limbs or faculties. Each one of them corresponding to one of the 613 mitzvahs. With each mitzvah we do, we strengthen this spiritual limb. God forbid, with each avera we do, transgressing something, this affects the spiritual limb. Now when we do teshuva, when we deeply, sincerely regret what we have done or what we lacked in doing, we repair, we heal that limb. How can we heal it? Because when we dig deep into our essence, Teshuvah is when we deeply, sincerely regret the lacking of the mitzvah or the transgression of an Avera. So we go into a level which is deeper than the actual limb, the source of those limbs, and therefore it could fix it. So on that level, Teshuvah is what? A appreciation of the depth of our soul, of the depth of our feelings. There is no commandment for that. It's beyond commandment. Commandment is rigid. Commandment is definable. This is the essence, undefinable. So therefore it's not a mitzvah. God just says, it will happen, you will do it. But then there is the practical application of a mitzvah, of teshuvah. It's beautiful to have a deep regret, but if it doesn't 
manifest itself in a change of a person's action, then these feelings might feel mushy, but it's not accomplishing much. So, if it's something that has to be concrete, then it's a mitzvah. And indeed, the prevailing halacha is, as it's brought in Rambam in particular, that it is an actual mitzvah. But, it is based on the fact that we can dig, dig deeply in our essence and allow it to manifest itself into action. So teshuva really is both. It is beyond commandment and it is a commandment. So Rabbi Nishalalem, you promised us v'shafta Hashem elekecha. We will return. We have all done teshuva. Now is the time v'shafta to return home. Home is the Beis HaMikdash with Moshiach. May this happen right now.